Hello everyone, Mr. N, we are back, proficiency exam, one of the easiest problems you can um, encounter on that exam and that you should always get full, full points for it, will be um, problems of this type, where you have to add or subtract matrices, right? And um, you guys remember the rule, if you have a, a matrix of... Um, with this elements A, B, C, D, right? Your row two columns, then you have to add a second one that is, let's say, E, F, G, H. All you have to do here is to add the corresponding elements. When I'm saying corresponding, you think about where they're placed in each uh, matrix, matrix, right? B will be there, F will be the corresponding one, C will have G as its corresponding element, and D will have H. So your, your answer here will be a matrix with the same number of rows and columns that will have this element, A plus E, right? B plus F. C plus G and D plus H. You're just adding this A to the E, the B to the F, right? C to the G and D to the H. Simple like that. Looking back here, the question says which term is equal to that? When you're looking at your three given matrices, three L, N. Now let's check the first element, which should give you six, four plus three, seven, not good. Four plus negative is three, one, not good. Three plus negative is three, zero, not good. Let's see if you're adding a matrix by itself. Three plus three, four plus four, eight, not good. Three plus three, six. Well, this seems to be the good one, right? L plus L. Is it zero plus zero, zero? Yes. 4 plus 4, 8, negative 2, will be given by negative 1 plus negative 1, so yes, B will be the answer to this problem, and you're good to go.